Hey, so today we'll be doing a PS5 HDMI port. Switching over to top view. What we want to do next is take off that PS5 HDMI port. Uh, I've got my heat gun. I've got my heat on 480 degrees Celsius. I've got my air on 99. And what I'm going to do is hold my heat gun under my HDMI port just long enough for that solder to melt. What you can do is nudge it a couple times. And uh, at some point, it should be loose. And you can just pull it up. Here's a look at our old HDMI port. Uh, it's clearly bad. And then you can see it in this camera as well. Old HDMI port. Right, next, let's switch over to our microscope because what we want to do is tend the pads. You want to go ahead and tend the pads or the traces on our PS5 board. We want to add low melt solder and we want to, we want to prepare it for our next uh, good HDMI port. So you want to grab a flat pair of tweezers. Uh, when I say flat, I mean uh, with the flat tip as opposed to say tweezers with the pointy tip. It's going to allow you to grab it a lot easier. And then as I said earlier, you want to make sure you put some flux on your HDMI port. I find that this allows solder to flow on our gold pins much easier than if we didn't have, have flux. And the process of putting on a new HDMI port is similar to taking one off. Well, it's actually the same, but that's the only difference. You're just putting it on. So here's that PS5 HDMI port, the new port under a microscope. Uh, I mentioned gold pins earlier. As you can see, see we still have those gold pins. So I, I did put flux. Uh, I put flux on the port, but I guess the solder didn't get a chance to transfer over. Now, this is the important part. You want to make sure that the pins from the HDMI port making a, a secure connection with the traces or pads from the PS5 motherboard. So the way we do that is we take a, this is when we want to use our tweezers, 
tweezers with a pointy tip, and we just take it and we push against the pins on the HDMI port to make sure that they're soldered on. So now that we had a chance to clean it up, what we'll do uh, next is test it. Uh, once we test it, if it powers on, we can put everything back together and we will have a successful PS5 HDMI port repair. So to test the PS5 HDMI port, you're going to need this. Uh, this is our heat sink or this applies pressure on our heat sink. And if you don't add these two parts, uh, with the two screws, uh, your PS5 will overheat in a matter of seconds. And uh, as quickly as it powers on, it'll power right back off. Okay, so there's our PS5 uh, powering on. Uh, I don't have a controller with me right now, but if I did, I would, I would get the password wrong anyway. So <laughs> let's go ahead and turn it off. Like I said, two beeps. One, two. 
And then if you do this, once your PS5 power is on, you won't get a. It it won't it won't restart. It won't it won't feel the need to restart. Which means less time to, you know, get started playing a game with your friends. So that is how you successfully repair a PS5 HDMI port. Uh, hey, if you liked the video, if you learned something, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a great rest of your day.